Is the nation of China planning an attack on the United States? With the recent words of our FBI director or any indicator, the answer to that is a solid yes. We're going to see the latest Fox News report that's sounding the alarm on a particular threat posed by China and why the Biden administration is so publicly concerned. Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patron professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Also, here's your opportunity to tell big tech tyrants where they can stick it. Click on that link below and download your brand new cancel-proof Turley Talks app, and you can sign our special Declaration of Restoration. That's our petition to big tech that declares that a new day is dawned. They're no longer in control, and we're taking our nation back. We've already got over a thousand signatures of courageous patriots and yours is next. Click on that link below or go to fight.turleytalks.com right now. Fox News had a very interesting and frankly alarming piece out today on the growing danger that the nation of China poses to the United States in the ever-developing world of cybersecurity. A recent appearance by FBI Director Christopher Wray at Vanderbilt University's Summit on Modern Conflict and Emerging Threats turned a number of heads when Wray openly admitted that Chinese government-linked hackers have, quote, burrowed into critical U.S. infrastructure and are waiting for, quote, just the right moment to deal a devastating blow to America. At a recent security conference in Munich, the FBI director also made it absolutely clear that the cyber threat posed by the Chinese government is absolutely massive. With our 3,300 utilities and sprawling web of 5.5 miles of distribution lines, the United States is particularly vulnerable to cyber incursions. One of those groups, perhaps the most pernicious, is known as Volt Typhoon. How's that for a name? Volt Typhoon, they're a CCP hacking group, which the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency notes is lurking in critical infrastructure all across our nation. And the concern here is that this cybersecurity breach would be part of China's overall offensive against Taiwan where they'd launch one. In other words, cybersecurity experts are warning that if China does militarily invade Taiwan, especially after that $100 billion foreign aid monstrosity that Congress just passed and Biden signed, which includes nearly $10 billion for Taiwan. If China invades, that invasion will include a massive cybersecurity attack on our vulnerable infrastructure to at least partly shut down our retaliation capabilities. Now, what caught this Fox News author by surprise here was not that China was planning a cyber attack on the United States. Concerns like that are par for the course in national secu- cybersecurity. That's not news. It's, it, it's the fact that he said the quiet part out loud. That's what was so unusual. Why did Chris Ray, the director of the FBI, why did he voice his worries about America's cybersecurity and the ominous threat posed by China so publicly? That's what's key here. And of course, all of this begs the question about cybersecurity in our own lives, right? What does Jordan Peterson say? We got to clean our own rooms first before we could expect to clean up our nation. And so all of this brings to the fore our own personal cybersecurity. For example, many of you may not know that the deeds to all our homes are now online. Every one of us, if you're a homeowner, the deed to your home is available for anyone to see right now online. And the problem is, and I was shown this personally, it's radically easy for a cyber criminal to access your deed, forge your signature, refile as the new owner of your home, take out tons of loans using your home's equity, and then stick you with all the debt. But that's why I partnered with the amazing company Home Title Lock. Home Title Lock gives you the peace of mind that the deed to your home is absolutely and completely protected. They monitor it 24-7. They'll alert you immediately if they detect anything even remotely suspicious. Click on that link below right now. Use promo code TURLYTALKS, and then all you got to do is just enter your address for your no-obligation home title scan to see if you've already been a victim of deed theft. That's a $100 value, absolutely, totally free with my promo code Charlie Talks. Gang, don't wait for the worst to happen only to regret you didn't do something about it when you could have, right? Do what I've done. Do what countless patriots have done. Click on that link below right now and secure your home today. But returning to that original question, why is 
the FBI director publicly warning about the danger that China poses to the United States. Well, this fellow at Fox News thinks it's actually all a ploy by the Biden administration to distract us away from his domestic disasters by getting us fixated on a foreign threat. Biden officials know that, generally speaking, the American people are totally souring on Biden. We talked about this in our first video today. Biden's poll numbers among his three key Democrat constituents, young voters, Latinos, and blacks, are horrendous. And they are literally falling by the day. And we know why. All the polls show that Biden is literally imploding on all the major issues of the day. The economy, inflation, southern border, violent crime, foreign policy. It's an utter polling disaster across the board for Biden. And so his attempt at distracting us by getting his administration to start freaking us out over China may be a blatant attempt to get us looking at things other than the economy, inflation, southern border, and the like. Another reason why the Biden administration may be, uh, well, is sounding the alarm on China may involve the whole silly TikTok ban that he just signed, giving the Chinese company that owns the app nine months to sell it or to be banned in the United States. And by the way, it's not a real ban, right? It's just not going to be allowed to be sold on the app stores or downloaded on the app stores. You can still download TikTok in all kinds of places. It's just silly. But these threats coming from China being made public, may be just it may be there just to give Joe Biden some political recover, uh, cover for signing that into law. Regardless of the reasons why he's making these threats so public, it is clear that China most certainly is a major world power on the international stage. I mean, what the United States is just what we're going to have to face at some point is the harsh reality that we are simply no longer the lone superpower on the planet. We were after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991. We certainly were the lone superpower. It was what scholars call unipolar world period, a single pole of political power that got to call all the shots for all the nations, for all the world's populations. Those days are over with the rise of Russia, China, India, Turkey, a surging Saudi Arabia, even a surging Iran. The world is now thoroughly multipolar with multi, multiple poles of power that, um, that now have a say in how the world is run. The United States is just going to have to adjust itself these new threats as well as the new international order that comes along with those threats. Don't forget, gang, make sure to click on that link below. Secure your own cybersecurity by protecting the deed to your home with Home Title Lock. You will never regret it. 